Hello stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Uh, today I wanted to show you how I created the template for the stamping in a round technique that I showed earlier this week. So I had a lot of you guys request that I actually show how I created the template. So I'm just gonna go over how I did that. Uh, on this one here, I actually used a piece of Stampin' Up's grid paper. So that's why you can see it's got the numbers on it and it's also got the little boxes for the grid on there. Um, and so that's how I did this one, but I'm actually just going to show you on a regular piece of printer paper um, Just in case you guys don't have the grid paper, then you'll be able to see uh, both options I also wanted to let you know that Stampin' Up! is coming out with grid paper pieces that actually fit the um, the Stamparatus so that's super, super fabulous to be able to have. I know it'll come in very handy um, uh, whenever you're using uh, different images that you wanna set up. I love using the little uh, squares as like my guidance and everything, so I can't wait to, to have that come out. So stay tuned, that'll be out uh, in October. So uh, no, no waiting too long, it's right around the corner. So how I did this, I actually just took a piece of, um, of printer paper and this measures uh, seven inches by seven inches. You can see I have that over there. And I actually just did that um, by taking a ruler and measuring this. So it's actually like seven and a quarter, but I figured the seven would be just fine. Um, so you can see that it fits in the Stamparatus. And so there's like a little bit showing there, but that's no big deal um, because it doesn't have to be the perfect size. I just wanted it to be big enough though. So I have a seven by seven inch square and I went ahead and I made marks at the three and a half line. So now um, three and a half of course is just halfway between, um, between the seven. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a line straight across um, for that three and a half going in that direction and then of course three and a half going in this direction. This is going to give me my center point of course. So now that I have that, I actually just took another piece of printer paper and it's just a scrap piece, it was a test page um, that came out. So I took this and you can start with as big of square as you wish, uh, that you know is all up to you, and of course you could always change it and add more later too. So this square um, actually measures four inches, just wanted to double check. So this one measures four inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my diamond look. So I'm actually just going to place my corners on each of the lines that I've already created and then I know it's nice and centered. And then I'm going to trace the square. So now we have that diamond look. Next, I'm actually going to do one going straight across. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to find my halfway point, my two inches, so that I can line up those lines um, to make sure that it is nice and centered. So now using those lines, I'm just going to center this and I'm also going to draw a square. So I'm just going to trace it out. So now I have my four inches. So then all I did was I cut off a quarter inch of this with my paper trimmer and then just did the exact same thing and set it up in the middle and then traced and then went down another quarter inch, set it in the middle. Um, and I didn't actually keep doing those halves here. Of course, like I did them far in, so it'll kind of work for a couple more, but I mostly just lined it up like, you know, in the center since it's only a quarter inch. So I just kind of lined it up there so that you could see that. So you'll see I did, um, I think this one goes from three and a half um, down to two or three, let's see. This one goes from three down to two and a quarter. Um, and so of course I could always add more or take some off, uh, or I'm sorry, add more on the outside or add more on the inside to get those squares. So then of course, now that you have that template, when you go to stamp your image, then you'll just place your square 
in the um, the actual square and then place it in the triangle or I keep calling it a triangle I don't know why it's a diamond um, the the square or the diamond and then that's how you do your stamping in the round to get that circular motion um, super perfect so um, I actually thought about um, doing one of these and then adding some contact paper over the top of it to sort of laminate it that way it'll be um, nice and clean as you can see this one has a couple um, ink spots on it and everything um, and it's kind of already like a little bit dirty so if you want to keep it nice and clean you could always add some contact paper over it to um, to sort of laminate it and everything and have it uh, use over and over again and not you know curl on the edges or rip or get stamped all over it and stuff but that is the little tutorial on how I created the template for the stamping in around technique. Of course, I will put a link for um, Tuesday's video where I showed you how to make that fabulous wreath. And then stay tuned as I have another fabulous video coming soon um, that I did on the corners. So I stamped the same image on each of the corners. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and it was very helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below what you can't wait to stamp in the round. Is it a wreath? Is it something on the corners? Um, is it another circular image? I, I'm excited to hear what you um, are going to be stamping around. So let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new as I post every Tuesday and Thursday. I'll see you all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.